Vlogmas Day 1. Uh, December the 1st, it's Tuesday, about half 10. And I'm sat down to my second cup of coffee of the day. I've been doing the usual things on a Tuesday morning. It's been bin morning, so been out with the bins and all that sort of thing. And I have fed our birds. You'll have seen a, a video maybe of it just before, before this. And I thought I would pop in, say hello, and then uh, see what the day see what the day brings after that and um, just in case anybody hasn't watched my channel or watched my vlog miss before I thought I'd say hello uh, who I am and a wee bit about me a wee bit about the the vlogs and just give you a friendly welcome my name's Angela and I live with my husband Andrew and our little dog Lola in County Down in Northern Ireland we uh, live on a dairy farm it's a small farm and uh, a lot of people have been asking about the the farm and things so I'm going to include if Andrew remembers to get me the footage and I get down some days to the farm I'm going to include a little bit of footage um, on my vlogs um, so that keeps us busy we're in the middle of um, building a new parlor so you are in the middle of all that excitement and I'm not sure whether it's going to be finished during vlogmas but most certainly you'll see a lot of what's happening in it during the next few days or next month and um, my ideas for vlogmas this year I'm sure like everybody else's have to be a bit different um, I needed to think outside the box um, here in Northern Ireland we're in uh, lockdown with the dreaded Covid until the 11th of December but lockdown doesn't to us we live pretty isolated anyway but it doesn't mean a lot because really from march we have been keeping our going out out into shops and things has been really minimal and we continue we hope to continue just doing that through christmas so i have been doing a lot of shopping online there's no markets or anything to go to so this year it's more going to be more a, a housey type vlog and I hope you enjoy that too. In a way, I think it's nice because it makes you focus more, makes me focus more on home as I put the daily vlogs together. And uh, to me, that, that home life and family life is very special to, to me. So, yes, the vlog is 25 days, right up to the 25th of December then, where we celebrate as a family um, in our faith the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ and I hope you um, enjoy what I have to show to show you. So some of the things that are going to going to pop up, there's going to be the usual day to day things. Um, I have some crafts I want to share with you. I have lots of knitting that you're going to see. Um, this year I didn't purchase an advent calendar. I purchased advent uh, yarn from the lovely yarn badger. I haven't it opened yet, so you're going to be the first to see it along with me. I'm going to get it skinned up later on today and get started on my advent socks because I have two cuffs and two stripes to do today. I never thought I should have had the cuffs knit before today, shouldn't I? But I didn't think of that. So I wonder, will I get it done? If not, I'm sure I can get the extra stripes fitted in tomorrow. There was one other thing, um, there's lots of other things as well um, that I have, but um, you'll see them as the time, see them as the time goes on. Um, I also have some cross stitch and I did say on my last podcast that I'm going to share um, some of my knitting just through my vlogmas as well, rather than doing a podcast. So for those of you that enjoy the craft and the knitting, there'll be plenty of it. I hope and for those of you that enjoy the farming side I'm hoping there'll be bits of it too but I also have a little friend and he was sitting on the window and I thought I could use him in my vlogmas and this is he everybody know who, knows who he is Mr Claus is with his tree and I thought that this here would be a good idea to appear each day in my vlogmas. This isn't his appearance, by the way, in day one. This is me, him just introducing himself. So on each video of each day, he is going to be sitting somewhere. And if you can find him, 
for the 25 days he will be here on Christmas morning um, at the end of it you will be entered into a uh, random number generator and I will draw the number and the winner will be sent out in January when holidays are over and the postal service is, is back to being reliable again. A, a skein of uh, yarn that I received from Sherry Harris in my Life of Birds Sock Club, which was a club that I signed up for for the month, each month rather, for the year of 2020. And I have two skeins left so far and I'll also have um, November's and December's too. So I'm going to gift one of these skeins to the person that can find Mr. Claus and his tree for 25 days. Now, if you could just, I haven't really thought the logistics of this. I don't, it's not going to work putting the, where you find them each day um, in the drop down bar. So if you could keep a note of the 25 places that you have found them and that you can write them down um, and drop them into the drop down box at the end um, that would be great hi so it's i think about four o'clock or shortly after it um today and it has got quite quite dark here this evening early so i'm down in the craft room just finishing off and this is the best place to get light to talk to you this will probably be the last wee chat we we'll have today because i'm hoping to upload the, the video in the early part of the day. It's not a terribly coherent video and not a lot of content today, just a bit of an introduction and how things are going to progress. But before I do go, I want to show you the yarn that I'm just about to cast on now. Um, I'm going to cast on before evening meal and then work on them tonight. So you're going to see the progress of each sock. The day after if that's okay so the yarn i chose this year rather than um, purchasing an advent calendar i chose an advent self-striping yarn and it's from the yarn badger it's called christmas lights and you'll see why in a moment it's a super wash blue piece lester and 25 percent nylon it's a full 100 gram skein that was a uh, split into 250 grams and it's 400 400 meters with a coordinating mini for i presume heel there's enough for heels toes and cuffs and i have one wound the yarn one the right way the other inside out but i think if i knit from the outside of one and the inside of the other i'll be fine to me so this is the yarn beautiful bright colors it actually means that you can see see all the colours. I'm really, really pleased with it. And the bright orange pink is going to be really nice with all the colours. This is much, much brighter than I would normally use. So it's me dipping the toe, my toe in the water of bright colours. There was some lovely goodies came in the pack. There was a nice Christmas card, some beautiful tea, um, spiced Christmas tea, uh, two lovely candy canes, mini candy canes, and that was the wrapping on the outside of the tissue. There was also these lovely uh, stitch markers in the shape of Christmas lights. And a beautiful Christmas tree. The pattern that I am going to use is just going to be a plain vanilla sock to show off the to show off the uh, stripes. So I don't think I'll need stitch markers, but I'm going to put these onto a little bulb pin and use them as progress keepers. And all that came in a lovely little sack with a Christmas tree on it. So such a beautiful gift to open earlier and I'm really really pleased with it and looking forward to starting to knit in a little while. 
So that is going to be me for today. I'll see a little bit more filament here in a moment, um, just as the house brightens up for the evening. And I will spend my evening doing some crafting. I think we're going to watch maybe the Polar Express, which will be nice. I have, in all my time, I've never watched it before. I've heard a lot of the girls talk about it, so I really want to see it. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. And then, uh, just the rest of the evening doing some knitting. Andrew milks tonight and um, he milks every other night with our son so um, that means I can snuggle into bed early with my knitting and do some reading and uh, keep nice and cosy. So until tomorrow which I promise will be a, a lot more coherent and organized um, I thought I was super organised and in a way I am but just remembering to record rather than the way I usually sit down and podcast has sort of caught me off guard um, so it has but um, here's hoping for a brighter day tomorrow and don't reel me off on my first day and don't forget by this stage you'll have not picked up Mr Santa and his tree um, so that's a good clue that he's going to be at the end of the vlog. So keep an eye out for him and don't forget to put the message down below and I will see you all tomorrow.